What is going on my fellow YouTuber Rinians? My name is Scrunt and today we are back on some MX vs ATV All Out. Now in this video it will be episode 3 of our daily dub series and today I actually got a rant just a tiny bit. Uh, so if you do enjoy the video make sure that you drop a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more MX vs ATV content. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, now the thing that I'm going to be ranting about in this video is actually the online play. So if you've already heard enough of this and you don't want to hear it again, <laughs> if you've already seen enough of this on like Twitter and, and comments and stuff like that, then I'm sorry, this probably isn't the video for you, but I have been keeping that in for a very long time on this channel. I, I haven't been very negative towards the online system while I, you know, I fully acknowledged that it's, it's a piece of shit. I never really said that and I, <laughs> and I, I always tried to give like, um, different things that we could do to kind of fix it but uh, I never really talked about my feelings on it so in this video I really want to talk about my feelings on the online system and they're not positive I'm just gonna let everybody know that right now they're not positive so for the past week I would say this game has been completely horrendous for me and the online matchmaking I am unable to get into matches it takes me upwards of 15 to 20 minutes to get into a single match and then nine times out of ten when I get into that match the host just closes the lobby he's done racing he's probably raced seven times before this he doesn't want to do it anymore or maybe he just got beat in the lobby and doesn't want to race anymore so boom he closes the lobby everybody has to leave and there's no host migration or anything like that so after i wait that 15 minutes to get into the lobby and then another five for them to finish their race i have to go and find a whole nother lobby all over again because it's it's not open it, it, it the lobby's closed that's it. There's nothing that I can do. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just we have to take it on the chin. And it's like, that doesn't seem right to me, man. Like, why Why is it taking me so much time just to get into these online races? And by the way, guys, I'm actually on series mode in this video because I couldn't take it anymore. I, I, was, I was spending 20 minutes trying to get into an online race for you guys. And uh, when I finally got into one, the, 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 the host left. So, um... Yeah, I went into series mode. I was like, well, I could either not make a video today because I'm pissed, or I could just go into series mode and hopefully uh, the fans will understand. So here it is, series mode. I actually reset my series mode. Um, I'm trying to do it all on all-time difficulty just because, I don't know, it gives me something to do. I've already beaten series mode, so I probably won't be doing it too, too much. But if online acts the way that it has been acting, then I'll probably be spending some time in series mode a little bit. But anyways, so there are pretty uh there, there's probably like three or four big problems with online uh the first one no host migration so there are no host abilities actually whatsoever other than making the game like friends only or whatever uh there's no host options or anything like that there's no host migration there's no picking of the best host or anything like that uh if the host leaves that's it the lobby's closed so that's a big 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 problem is that the, the there's no host tools or host migration the second one, you can't have over eight people in your fucking lobby. Uh, I thought that this was kind of fixed with the most recent patch, but it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it's it's horrendous, man. I actually got into a race last night where it was nine people, and I was lagging so badly. I couldn't hit any of the ruts that I needed to. I, I was hitting corners wrong, and the whole bike just seemed to be going slower because I was lagging, which doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it does in the game world. So that's a big thing. You can't have over eight people uh, online unless you want to lag your tits off. So let's go to number three, and that is collisions. Whew. So last night was the was the night that I really was racing quite a bit and uh, was online, surprisingly. And every single race, the same thing happened. Right at the first corner, nobody knows how to use brakes. So what do they do? They slam right into you. Oh. Someone's in third. They want to try and get up into second and first. What are they going to do? They're going to slam into you in every single corner. They're going to try to bump into you. They're going to bump into you mid-jump so you fly off the track. Sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I can't take it anymore. I have tried, and I've tried to see it from those perspectives that are for collisions. Can't do it. I hate collisions. Please remove them from the game or just make it toggleable because guarantee if you do, <laughs> everybody's going to be uh, toggling it off. So... Uh, that's the third reason, and do I have a fourth reason? 
oh yeah the lobbies are shit there it is all right so that's basically what i have wrong with the online system right now it's laggy there's no host migration collisions can't be toggled and uh the lobbies are terrible it's terrible terrible setup all the way around um so i actually did have something to, <laughs> to discuss with you guys today it wasn't just a rant the the rant's over by the way it's uh that's all i needed really for me to let off some steam about online but uh so the discussion topic that i have today it kind of does incorporate online but uh i was wondering whether you or not you guys think 1.07 is going to be released for consoles before or after the dlc patch and i didn't really say that right so do you think it'll be released before the dlc patch or do you think it will be released with the dlc patch um i've been kind of thinking about this a lot more recently and it does make sense to me that they would bundle it up with that dlc package for consoles uh as, especially if they needed a bit more time with consoles to update them it would just kind of make sense if they put it into uh the dlc package that we're about to get but at the same time we don't have an eta for that dlc package it's supposed to be soon uh soon tm you know <laughs> every game company says soon but nobody knows what it means uh so i don't know like i i honestly hope that it's not because i I want to see if 1.07 really improves the online and improves the lag, improves the screen tears, and improves everything that everybody wants uh, before we get DLC. Because if the online is not fixed before we get DLC or massively improved, then uh, I don't think too too many people are going to be very happy about that, and m myself included. Myself included, because I can't take having 50% of the game not available to me because of how much lag there is, no host migration and just the general shittiness of the servers uh so that's kind of the topic of the day i know it was very very quick and we didn't really get to discuss it too much but it's pretty self-explanatory so if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like also remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more mx versus atv content so that's going to be it for this one guys peace